okay in the reference image these edges along here are a lot sharper so that's the next thing we're going to sort out to do this we're going to go to edge mode and we need to add an edge just underneath this line on this side and on this side of it as well so just click one of them hold shift click another one and it creates a loop like that just go to connect click the settings box and just put that back to zero if it's you know any other value and then adjust the slide value up gonna have it about 70 yep and the same on here click that hold shift click another one and it loops it settings box alter it until it's you know roughly how you want it yeah that's good click ok we need to do the same on this side but like we did earlier I'm just going to do one side delete it delete the other half uh, copy it over and then weld it together just saves a lot of time so in the modify list go go to mesh smooth that as it implies it smooths the model off like that it's that so just always check it with uh, your reference image to make it look as realistic as possible for example on these ones this edge is a lot smoother than this edge than the one I've created so we can easily sort that in editable poly select the edges again and just scale it up make sure you have under edit geometry constraints to edge and I'll show you what that does that just constraints it to this edge here so it's not scaling it wrong for example like that scaling it up and it should be restricted to this edge here yeah so that will do and the same for this one just double click this one and it selects the ring yep that seems fine map edge mode view it again it's a lot smoother than it was and as you're looking around you'll notice that the geometry seems seems a bit weird like it suddenly just changes around here so go back into edge mode it's easily sorted for example you can see here it, it's straight and then just suddenly changes this needs to be a lot smoother to make it look realistic so just double click this edge go to the move tool and just oh, making sure constraints is changed back to none just move it back see this a lot better in the left mode left view like that and just for this edge as well just move it back to make it look how you want to this is another thing that can really help if you go to front mode you can see it, it it changes shape a lot it's good to have this as natural as possible really so just move the edges along double click to make them as straight as possible that looks all good yep. now this edge here if we go to smooth mode it, it's really really smooth and you can't see it from the reference images but there is a little bit 
of a straight edge so just click go back to edit to ball poly go to edge mode and just click one edge hold shift click another edge and it loops it again so connect settings and if you've already uh, done this before then it will keep the slide value the same it's ever so slight so just move it I'm gonna have it about minus 30 like that again just one side because we're going to copy the other side over once we've deleted the other half like that and again do it on this side as well click that or shift select them all connect settings and just up the value I'm going to have minus 85 seems good and just view it you're always going to have to edit your geometry then put it back into smooth mode to check it you can't get around that it's just part of being a modeler comes with the job yeah, that seems all fine so we're going to copy this side delete this side um, and just copy this side over like we did earlier so in polygon mode go to left view left view click press F3 to see it in Wi-Fi mode it's just a lot easier that way delete that and in edge mode just select this edge double click it and then just drag it in the middle like that and mirror it up here click mirror make sure it's on the x-axis uh, it's on copy and change the offset to make the two models connect press ok and then as before we need to attach these two together so what I'm going to do first is delete the mesh move of both then select one edge click attach click this edge like that go to vertices mode select all the vertices in the middle click the world settings I've got mine at 0.254 just click OK and we are back to normal just add the mesh smooth to it again up here and that looks great so that is the body of the lamp created in the next part we're going to create the light bulb holder and the shade so I'll see you in the next part thanks for watching